This is a secret. You are not supposed to know about it. It was almost destroyed by nuclear weapons. Every major city would have been annihilated. In early 1983, Stanislav Petrov was a lieutenant colonel for the Soviet Strategic Rocket Forces, specializing in the development of a satellite nuclear warning system engineered to stop a U.S. first strike. On the evening of the 29th of September, 1983, Colonel Petrov took over the command of Serpikov-15 as the officer on duty. It was normal routine work. Time was passing by. All was going well. We were prepared just in case. And this just in case happened. Colonel Petrov had received a signal confirming an American nuclear attack. There was a big overhead display with huge letters, like a wall banner at my eye level. Start. Something that we should have been ready for had actually happened. One launching rocket. The probability indicated was the highest possible. They had only 28 minutes until the impact. Everything pointed to a yes except for one thing. The launch was not confirmed visually. Petrov decided to wait before he informed the high military command of what was happening. Petrov needed to make a decision, one of history's most important. I decided this was a false alarm, and the decision I had made was confirmed. Then embarrassed the military command of the Soviet army. Petrov was made into a scapegoat. He was eventually forced into early retirement. The country would have been uninhabitable for 200 years. In the Western press, he became known as the man who saved the world. Almost 20 years later, there are more nuclear powers around the world and far less certainty. We are now entering a new world where weapons of mass destruction, including nuclear weapons, are now going to be more widely proliferated to actors who are even more alien to us and harder for us to understand than the Soviet Union was at the height of the Cold War. I actually feel fairly strongly about um, the importance of, of having regular contact with your adversaries, uh, that I think the absence of any dialogue, any direct dialogue, for example, with Iran, with North Korea, is a real mistake. 